Hey everybody and welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to look at the leaked manuals from the Saturn 4 Ultra which is provided by the YouTube channel The Varied Life. Now somebody sent this video to me for me to look at and give me my opinion on what I think is going to happen with the Saturn 4 Ultra because I had quite a few hot takes about the Algo Saturn 3 Ultra. Now we have the 4, 4 means more better, right? Now let's have a look at what we are working with. So we are going to start with the overview that we are going to find in the printer. So we have our printer, then we have our gadgets like a USB disk and all of that. And the first new thing that we can see is going to be an AI camera. Now the AI camera is probably going to work the same like in, uh, let's say, a reality. It is going to detect a failure and probably stop a print. Why the hell else would they call it an AI camera? We also have a build platform that is going to use a latching system, but the resin tank for some reason is still using those freaking bolts. Now I made a little meme short about it, but uh, honestly I met those guys at Formnext last year and I told them about the vet bolts that I would like to see some latching mechanisms. I think that at the heat of the moment when you are working with your printer and you have your glass on and there's some resin on your glass and you need to turn those bolts and it's not like you are doing it in two seconds, you are really turning them to get them out. So a latching system should be the next logical decision. Now, they have decided to dump the idea and to keep the freaking bolts to hold in your resin tank. Okay, just when I was editing and I wanted to push the button to set this video online, a lot of things have changed. There is somebody called Jeff Turner that is on the Facebook page of the Algo Saturn 3 series uh, owners group. And he is sharing some videos about the Saturn 4 Ultra which are going to delete most of my complaints I had before I saw these. So the reason why we actually see the VOD having the freaking balls to turn in is because the complete VOD is moving. It is actually looking a bit like the, uh, I think it's going to be the Prusa printers. So instead of the Z axis lifting up and just pulling straight on the FVP, the VOD is tilting down, helping with the peel forces. Looking at it, it looks a little bit janky with the bolts. So I'm not sure if this really was the best solution, but uh, I think for the first attempt, we can see that the complete VOD is tilting down. And not only that, I am definitely seeing that the VOD that they are using in the Saturn 4 Ultra is bigger than the Saturn 3 Ultra. So it looks like we are going to get at least 700 millimeters in that VAT, which was not possible in the Saturn 3 Ultra. All right, so, and then we have a resin tray. I'm not sure what that tray is going to do. It's probably so we can pick it up from the sides, looking at it because it has that little uh, notch on the side probably for the spout. So I think it's going to be something to lift out the vault. Probably, we don't know, there are no videos as for right now. Then we also have a picture that is looking inside the printer. We can see at the right side that the camera is really down below the VOD. So you will have a nice look that once the belt platform raises above your VAT, that you will have a nice look of your print. And probably because it's AI, it will detect some failures and probably pause or stop the print. We're not sure right now, but why the hell else would they call it AI? But one thing we can see is that the VOD that they are using right now seems to be quite a lot higher than the VOD we have in the regular Saturn 3 Ultra. I really hope that the VOD is going to be bigger than we have right there, because if we are going to print uh, bigger print volumes, just like this hammer, so the top side already failed once on me. The Saturn 3 Ultra holds about a half a liter of resin, which in my opinion is not enough. And I hope to see that we are going more at the one liter mark. Now, I don't think we are going to get that because the build volume of the printer is actually the same. No, it's not actually the same, it's even worse that we are having at the Saturn 3 Ultra. We also have some specs about the next volume and we can see that we have 218 by 122 by 220. So everything is the same except for the Z height. The Z height is actually four centimeters smaller, which actually means that this print 
is not going to fit on the Saturn 4 Ultra, but it does fit on the Saturn 3 Ultra. Not sure what's going on right there. I really don't like that decision. We always want to see bigger and more better. This time we are going to get smaller. We can also see a pixel resolution of 19 by 24, which is actually the same as the Algo Saturn 3. So that was uh, the only thing he wasn't lying about. So they are sticking with the 12K displays. Now, what is going to be different about the 3 and the 4? Well, uh, looking at the manuals, the only real thing we can see is going to be installing the build plate is going to way easier. We have a latching system, we have a camera, and instead of now having to lift the whole top out of the printer, now we are going to be able to rotate the top upwards. We are seeing some uh, quality of life uh, implementations. It also looks like the Z column is finally fixed on the top of the printer so we are not going to get the wobbling that we are seeing right now. On the 3 Ultra it wasn't that bad but we could see on bigger printers like the Jupiter that Z bobble is a big issue. So except for a rotating top cover and a webcam I don't see any need for you to dump your Saturn 3 Ultra and get into this one. Also what we don't see in the manual is something uh, of a heating system so we don't have a PTC heater we don't have a heated VOD and I think they actually for the first time dumped their own uh, carbon filters. So the carbon filters are a bit of a joke. They are also in the 3 Ultra, you can find them in the Jupiter, but in my opinion those filters are a bit of a gimmick and it seems to me that they are finally getting rid of it. So that's going to be it. It looks like the Saturn 4 Ultra has some tricks up its sleeve and now I'm still hoping that we have some kind of an integrated heating system, although I think those chances are going to be very slim. Let me know down below what you're thinking about the Saturn 4 Ultra this far and what you think the pricing is going to be. I think it's going to be a little bit more expensive than you are used to because we are dealing with extra sensors and motors. But like always, time will tell. Wait for the reviews. And guys, I hope to see you in the next one.